It's been a week and the poison oak has died down quite a bit. So let's continue our forest or woods trail and mow past here. I'll fix the mower and then I'll drive the mower out here and I'll mow out this area so I can have a turnaround spot so I don't keep running into the fence by having to back up. And then we'll mow that way, down that trail. Oh and hey, I found this a while ago in the woods. It's a, oh, it's a nicely sized piece of roofing. I believe I may uh, use it for an awning over my back door. I might make like a little roof or whatever because it's always nasty whenever we walk out and there's raining and whenever it's raining. You want in? So this is all that really broke on my mower, just a little clip. But let's put it into the drive shaft because whenever it breaks, it always lets the drive shaft slide around. The drive shaft always slides in and out and puts stress on the chain and everything else pretty much. And there we have the clip already on there. Let's push the mower and watch it in action. Yeah, so that's good. Now I'm going to try to figure out a way to see if I can mount my camera on the front of my mower. Because that would be kind of cool. So I think I'll just go with the simplest method. Put a piece of cardboard down for cushioning and then strap some duct tape over the camera. Is the main downside to mowing the woods is you, you just tear up your lawnmower deck especially if it's rusty like this one Well, that part of the path was pretty tricky, but it turned out pretty nicely. Unfortunately, 
my lawnmower doesn't have much traction, so going up this this little embankment here or whatever is kind of difficult. It's this part right here that kept on giving me all the trouble. It was hard to get back up. But I think I can just hit it with you know, at the highest speed and it'll get it up there. It worked once, so... It's, it's, it's also because it kind of is like that. So it... it, it not only not not only angles that way, but it also angles that way, so it just makes it difficult to go up there. Unfortunately, I can't find my my clipper things. Otherwise, I'd clip away all this stuff. But the trail goes all the way over here now. And I just turned around right here. But this is working out really nicely. I'm glad that the trail over here doesn't have as much junk. Although I'm not going to mow down there. <laughs> That'd be crazy. But I think I will mow right here, and then I'll go up there. So, I mowed up here a little bit, and I got some of these bricks out of the way. There was that big bottom to a fountain type thing. A bunch of like uh, bricks and stuff down there. And a few bricks that I think I might want to keep. Put them over here with the other ones. You know what? On second thought, I'm not really that desperate for bricks, so these ones, I wouldn't, I wouldn't probably take the time to break them apart anyway. So there we go. What was that sound? Sound like someone's cutting down a tree over there. <laughs> Last spring there was a bunch of like trees and stuff here and I, I cut them all down so it's a nice path. And up here you have a good view of the creek like 10 feet below. And right now we're about halfway through the uh, trail. This path needs a little more cleaning up because my tire was going right along here. So, yeah. And I think I might not want to go th mow around here without a cell phone or something because in case I fell or whatever. I hate to fall off that with a lawnmower. I'm gonna stop here because right here is a bunch of logs and a metal fence. I'm gonna have to cut that down and I just don't feel like doing that today. But then we have the path over here. It goes down to the creek down there and it goes over here. I don't know if I'll drive it down there though. That might be a little bit too steep. I wouldn't want to lose my lawnmower in the creek. And the path goes over here. I'll have to clean out all this brush that fell since I cleaned it out the first time. And it, it goes back, back there and goes way over there and keeps going. And actually, when out there, it starts to flatten out towards more like a field. 
and pretty much all uh, all the points after this it you can't really see any sign of civilization I mean you can hear cars and stuff but you can't see houses or anything in the, in the background so that's pretty nice feels like you're all secretive and alone and I gotta say this creek is pretty awesome because like for instance right here this is we're standing on one big piece of clay I mean there's there is some dirt on top of it that I'm kicking up but this gray stuff like right here one big thing of like rock hard clay it's like one big sheet of it and later on down there you can actually see parts that there's like tunnels and stuff drilled through the clay and I believe that might be a clay fossil of trees and roots and stuff so that should be what quite uh, quite a bit old because either a the clay formed around the roots or B the roots pressed th through the clay and so either way it should be at least a hundred uh, the fossil should be at least a hundred years old but the creeks always really nice find a lot of neat stuff in them a lot of neat areas like this up here this place almost always stays shady because of all the stuff that fell over it well I think that's pretty much it for today I'm gonna strap my camera to my lawnmower and drive back over the path that I cut today and we'll see pretty much how far the path is thanks for watching see you later